Alright, here we are. Welcome to Let's Not Play. Today we'll be not Let's Playing uh, the, the remake of Grim Fandango, but more so the remake of Indigo Prophecy. And um, well, Let's Not Play, just to explain it, is something where I bitch about a game and then play something that's like pretty much unrelated and try to like not fuck up while I bitch and kind of just spitball about random shit. Not a very good idea, but I seen other people using the phrase and they stole it from me. So I'm taking it back. Why is the mouse cursor there? Disappear. That's really gonna fucking... There we go, it's disappeared. Alright, so basically, here, let's turn this down a little. I'm having trouble hearing myself think. Uh, there we go. So, basically, yeah, they did these, I mean, obviously, the fucking... And, yeah, this, I have a controller with fans built into it for this game, because if I don't have um, cooling, my hands get too sweaty when I play this. So, um... Basically, they remade, you know, they did a HD remake of Grim Fandango, and whatever, it looks really good, but, like, I have a question if, um, you know, if Tim Schafer needs, like, more of my cash. Let's turn this down a little more. Wait, whoops. Alright, that'll be good. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do very well anyway. So, um, yeah, so I didn't get it, and instead I got this game called, uh, Life is Strange. I keep calling it Life is Weird, but it's Life is Strange, and it's sort of like a Telltale-style game, like Walking Dead. Like, I hate that I'm attributing sort of what's more like a modified visual novel style to, um, man, I suck, to Telltale. But so... So, right, that's that's what the game is. There's, like, supposed to be choices and consequences. I can't tell, but anyway, yeah, I was excited for the Grim Fandango remaster, but then it kind of came out, and I by then I had sort of cooled on it, and I figured, oh, well, I'll buy this instead, because they were, they did a, a um on Reddit, and in their um they said, which is a... I believe like a word that's African in an origin. So in their AMA, they said like the game will have puzzles, right? And that's always been my fucking main bitch with Walking Dead is that it's got no puzzles. You might hear my cat getting mad, but he's gonna have to fucking wait. You, right now, you, yes, you listener are what's important to me, not the cat. Um, and there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, like physically, it's just all mental. So, they, um, they are doing this, uh, you know, they're doing this game, and it's very much like Walking Dead, except, you know, not zombies, and, uh, I don't know, it seems pretty good, so I bought that instead, but, you know, why, let's get back to it, like, I'm not playing the Grim Fandango remaster right now, like, you know, and I'm especially not playing the, the Indigo Prophecy remaster, which, I, they, obviously like they obviously did it to fucking cash in on the grim fandango remaster like it's pretty pretty fucking like blatant that they just thought like oh well people will be remembering how great adventure games are even though you know indigo prophecy is not a fucking adventure game it's a lot more like walking dead than anything else uh they're like well people will be remembering that mm, not bad it, people will be remembering that, so, like, let's cash in, and it's, like, that's why they did it. It's five bucks. It doesn't even look better. Like, the fucking eight... All they did is... It's hard to call it a remaster when all they did was, um... Upscale the resolution, apparently. They upscaled it, and they did some new textures which don't look very good. Like, the, the game just looks bad, and, like, whatever. It's a cash in. I don't mind. I mean, it would have been great to get a fucking HD remaster of uh omicron which is i will say an adventure game but whatever we didn't so you know so whatever that's that's where i am right now that's where these games are stop crying you cat so yeah so i got this game instead and like fuck quantic dream like i don't mind it like i got beyond two souls 
and um, I didn't mind it. It didn't. It wasn't offensive to me. Heavy rain kind of pissed me off, but that was just more like it was irritating to play. Um, but there were good parts in Heavy Rain. It just would have been nice to fucking actually, like, for the game to expect me to be able to solve simple things. Like, and that's how, um, life is strange, is where it, it, it does have some very simple puzzles, which are nice because you're like, oh, haha, I get it. And you use the time mechanic in them, and it, it's sort of fulfilling. Um, you know, it's sort of enjoyable. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of it. Like, the, I will say the Grim Fandango remaster looks great, but, like, I was thinking of buying it, and I look on my Steam's list, it's like, nine of your friends want this, but none of them have bought it. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, that's the way to go. Just wait for a fucking sale, right? Because why the fuck should I, you know, spend my hard-earned cash, right? To, I don't know, buy fucking... Schaefer, whatever drugs he's hooked on, like, I don't even know. Uh, you know, why should I do that when I could just not buy it and, like, buy something new? And even if this game isn't really adventure which, it's hard to tell with the first fucking thing. I mean, there are cool aspects of it, and the choices and consequences stuff is cool for right now, like, as in a first episode. That cat's mad, I'll tell you what. Yeah, you see, listen to that. There's nothing wrong with this cat. It's not like he's, not like I stuck a stick up his butt. He's just mad at his tail. He's mad that he's being ignored, too. So he does this. He makes a bunch of noise. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with my cat. Please don't tell me to go take my cat to the vet, because I have, and this is just how he behaves. And I can never get video, because if I look at him, he'll stop it, right? He only does it when I'm not looking at him, so it's for attention. So, yeah, like, I don't know, the Grim Fandango remaster could be nice, but it's, I think, 15 bones. I mean, at least the uh, Indico Prophecy one, Fahrenheit one, is 5 bucks or something, which is even fuck them, because it's like, I don't know, that game was such a letdown. Like, I remember you played the demo, and it looked like it'd be this really cool game where you, like, fucking murder people and then solve your own murders, right? Based on the evidence you know you left behind it seemed like a really cool gimmick and then they just drop it like so quick into the game like I think there's two scenes like that the whole game and the demo made it seem like you'd be doing it over and over I wanted to murder more people but it, you know the game didn't want to do that so I don't know life is strange and funnily enough life is strange starts off a little like uh, indigo prophecy my friend pointed out to me like you fucking end up in a bathroom you you start off in a bathroom and there's a murder and it's like really funny but uh yeah i don't know it's um it's all right i wonder how long how long has this been going on uh eight minutes huh you just want to watch me play this for a little bit i guess sure We'll, we'll take this till I die. How about that? Because I ain't, I ain't pausing. I feel like I'm in the zone. Um, so yeah, that's that's Let's Not Play. I just kind of wanted to make another because, yeah, well, these are a little fun. It's a little fun to like listen to it myself and be like, hey, I was funny. Like, that's, that's all we want, right? Just to remember, like, you know, we brought some joy into someone's life. I mean, not our own, but... Oops. I'm waiting until all my lives are gone. You you fuckers can if you wanna stop the video, like this is the official end, but I really don't wanna um I kinda wanna see where how far I could go here. But yeah, I always thought let's not play was a nice idea because it's like you think about all this shit, like not just shit you buy and never play, but then shit like people people scream about or like this is an amazing um an amazing piece of art. Like you know, I'm sure they're saying that about that life is weird game, because um yeah, I'm gonna restart again. You know what? Deal with it. Because, uh, like, fucking Anthony Birch's sister is voicing it, and she's kind of, like, hot and hip, and, like, you know, whatever, that's the fucking game. It's like, 
you know, video games is just like Hollywood, but with less child molestation, which is, I mean, good, you know, if you could cut out the child molestation and the whole Hollywood thing, you have something nice going on. Um, yeah, so I think they're gonna, people are gonna be really hyping up this game. It seems alright, uh, you know, it could be better. I'm not quite sure I'm regretting the purchase yet, but I might. Uh, I really, I hope they, you know, I hope these future episodes are more complex and have, you know, more complexity to them and more interaction rather than less. Seems like that's often how these stories go, where they'll be like, here are all your choices and consequences, and then you approach this critical point where you realize, like, no, you've been fooled. There are no real consequences. There are choices. But consequences cost money to program, so you won't you won't be getting any of those, right? And that's how it was in um, Walking Dead season two. And some some guy with some sort of fucking accent, I'll put it in the description, did a really good teardown of that game. It wasn't like terrible, but the game, I mean, his teardown was pretty good. But it just was like a really disappointing, you know? Like you had so much hype behind the whole Walking Dead thing, and then they just, like, really dialed it back for that, um, for that second season. Someone might come bursting in and tell me the Chinese is here. Then, then, oops, then it'll really, will really be done then, you and me. Um. Yeah, but again, this is, uh, Let's Not Play, a video series that causes cancer. Please donate, subscribe, and like. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of, like, and especially Grim Fandango. I mean, it's, you know, it's great. Yeah, I actually saw some little shit from PC Gamer bitch about the puzzles being dated. Like, what? Like, how are puzzles, how do puzzles get dated? Like, what, you mean existing? Like, there's the true dated puzzle, right? The one that exists, because now everyone's minds are too fucking doughy they sit and like either you get a game that's just puzzles like latent and that's just like i haven't played it but i'm pretty sure it's just the fucking like matchstick puzzle over and over again or you have danganronpa and danganronpa's fun i like that i'm glad all the kids seem to like that too because it's a good series and it's like something the youth should be oops the youth should be playing that game to enrich themselves um You know, because it's, it's a, Danganronpa is a pretty good example of like a nice adventure game to me, at least. You may you may hate it. Up, oh, we're up. Oh, maybe we'll do this. Yeah, I gotta get these multipliers. All right. Well, that's it. I guess. Hey, this controller's got a fan in it. It's pretty great. Alright. See ya.